Emily Mers joins us now and Emily, I have to ask you, is it going to be a washout for the 4th? Well, as of now, I don't want to say it's a washout, okay. but definitely going to be some rain and thunderstorms okay. in okay. the area. Um, the timing's a little iffy about mm -hmm. the evening. Okay. It's still a little bit too far out. We'll for know sure. that a lot, a lot more as we get closer, but okay. we know now like the morning is looking kind of rainy. Okay. So keep an eye on that forecast. That's really all I can say at this point is okay. just keep an eye on it. Maybe start to think of a backup plan just in case. Temperatures though, pretty warm. We're cooling off into the 70s and later into the 60s as we go into this evening. Now, like I mentioned, we do have another hot day ahead of us tomorrow. We're going to be back in the 90s, reaching around 93 for the majority of us tomorrow. 76, though, currently in Mankato, 73 in St. James and Fairmont, Wyndham, 72 in Jackson, 73 in Slayton, 76 out in Marshall. Now we can see outside in St. Peter, calm conditions. The moon is out there. Tomorrow is actually the full moon, so it's definitely going to be pretty bright out there in the sky as we go through this evening. We can see calm conditions around the region as well. We had a couple thunderstorms to our north, but they have since dissipated, leaving us with some thicker cloud coverage for our more northern counties. But the majority of us are going to see mostly clear skies as we go through tonight. Now tomorrow is a little bit different story. The majority of our area is in that green one out of five marginal risk of some severe weather. As we go Tuesday, that's going to shift over a little bit more. A lot of this area is in that yellow or slight risk, that two out of five risk of severe weather. Now what we're looking at for this on Tuesday, we could see some large hail. We could see some damaging wind gusts. Um, tornadoes can't be ruled out at this time, but it's not going to be the most likely threat compared to the hail and the winds. So if we want, let's go ahead and track some of this out. This is starting Monday morning early in the morning. We can see scattered thunderstorms, especially in this central southern Minnesota area. We're going to see that continue through the morning hours on Monday. You're definitely going to want to grab an umbrella tomorrow as you're on your way out the door towards work. But the majority of the daytime, though, on Monday is going to be sunny. But don't let that fool you. Later on in the evening, we're going to see more thunderstorms starting to make their way around the area. Another area of clearing. And then we are going to start to see this line of thunderstorms making its way in in the early morning hours. Again, calmer conditions as we start our Tuesday, but then this next line of storms begins to make its way through later on in the morning. And we're going to just kind of continue to see clearing during the day. It looks like some thicker cloud coverage, though, for the majority of our Tuesday. Later on in the day, though, that's when we're going to see the next round of thunderstorms begin to move back into the area. Now, as of now, like I mentioned, the timing for the evening is still a little bit uncertain. We'll definitely know that a lot better tomorrow. I know if you have firework plans, you're probably really wondering if it's going to be raining. We'll know a lot more tomorrow. Just definitely keep an eye on this forecast. We have a low of 67 tonight. Some early morning thunderstorms and showers. Just grab an umbrella on the way out the door tomorrow. Tomorrow, high of 92 degrees hot out there, mostly sunny during the day, but those thunderstorms moving in later on in the evening overnight into Wednesday as well. We could see some rain Wednesday, although the majority of those thunderstorms will be moved out by then. But then we can look forward to some cooler temperatures. We're going to be back in the 70s by later on the day on Wednesday, same on Thursday, and then we'll be hanging out in the 80s and 70s as we approach next weekend, which is also when we're going to see our next rain chance. So may maybe be a washout. I don't think it'll be a full washout, but definitely keep an eye on that forecast. So like round in the morning and then another round in the evening, and that's still kind of what we're looking at. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Emily, and we love sports up next.